South Louisiana is unique in many ways. The culture, the food, the weather. But in the transportation industry, the marriage between industry and swampland presents logistical challenges unlike anywhere else. In the sea level marsh surrounding New Orleans, historic plantations turned into refineries years ago. And these refineries require continuously larger equipment to continue to operate profitably. A local New Orleans refinery presented Bayard with a challenge to deliver two vessels for a major environmentally friendly upgrade that would help the facility improve their emissions for the surrounding community. Historically, large equipment would be delivered via the Mississippi River and transported a short distance to the site. In recent years, unusually high river levels and long permitting times for the river levee crossing have hampered these efforts. With the Mississippi hovering near flood stage, the Coast Guard said today they are seeing more accidents on the high water. Crew running for cover. Their tugboat is nearly crushed by a cargo ship Monday near Laplace. The video, a shocking reminder of the power of the Mississippi as it hovers near flood stage in New Orleans. Everyone's added a heightened state of readiness. The Coast Guard responding to another sunken tug near Donaldsonville on Sunday. The client requested a surefire method for delivery, avoiding the Mississippi River, with the larger vessel weighing 188,000 pounds, measuring 51 feet long, 16 foot 7 inches wide, and 17 foot 9 inches high, and the smaller vessel weighing 107,000 pounds, measuring 32 feet long, 16 feet 3 inches wide, and 17 feet 2 inches high. Berard went to work researching possible routes. Transport directly from the downtown port of New Orleans would require heavy utility involvement, turn improvements, and create a traffic nightmare. Berard project managers quickly excluded that option and reverted to a barge solution. The cargo was loaded onto a 140-foot by 40-foot deck barge at the port of New Orleans, contracted to McDonough Marine Service. Extremely high river current, which resulted in multiple vessel accidents just days prior to the cargo arrival, prompted Berard and McDonough Marine to develop an alternate solution to combat the raging river. Once on a barge with a large horsepower tugboat, the tow exited the river to the Gulf Intercoastal Waterway and switched to two shallow draft tugboats. The non-maintained channel to the selected roll-off site was a mere three to four feet deep, but was no issue for access with the planned barge draft and tugboat arrangement. The Berard team utilized a Goldhofer 12-axle THP SL trailer for the larger vessel and a 9-axle Feynmanville Highway Max trailer for the smaller vessel, using the roadway trailers to roll off the cargo directly from the barge. From here, the 60-mile roadway route from barge landing site to refinery featured multiple fixed overhead obstructions, including interstate on-ramps that did not allow sufficient height clearance. Multiple overhead highway signs required lifting to increase clearance. Berard and LA DOTD traffic engineers agreed on a plan to close only one lane of the interstate to minimize traffic interruption, all while obtaining safe clearance for the loads. Berard engineers derived a plan along with Louisiana DOTD to bypass the overpass using a custom roadway and bridge across a drainage ditch. After traversing the interstate portion, the team faced multiple distribution and transmission line outages, all aligned with the local power company for an on-time transit. The Mississippi River Bridge Crossing required wrong-way travel arranged by Berard managers, LA DOTD and LA State Police. 
In one day, the cargo was moved from the barge site to final destination. The following day, the refinery offloaded both packages with cranes at the expansion location. In total, the Berard team had a total of 320 hours of planning time and a total of 614 hours of execution. The project was delivered on time, safely, with no incidents, injury, or damage.